our six-day trip to Killarney Provincial Park had us putting in at George, camping out at OSA for one night, then Killarney Lake for two nights, and then Norway for two nights, after which we returned back to George Lake, a total of 39 kilometers. All right, we're on day one of Killarney, leaving George Lake. at the uh, George the Freeland put in at that little tiny 80 meter trail and we just kind of got everything moved over taking a little break from Freeland we're off to Clarney and then OSA it's a pretty short trip it's starting to rain now and it's supposed to rain for the next three days so Hopefully on Wednesday when we start moving to different parts of the park, it'll be nice and sunny. Tomorrow is not a rest day. This is 4.30 from Freeland to Killarney. Falls on the route to Killarney. Okay, we're on the first part of Killarney. Rain is picking up. Just on OSA proper, we did the short little 130 meter portage, and we're just paddling to the campsite, and looks like it's just starting to rain again, so hopefully we'll get our campsite and tarp set up, and we'll be able to dry up a little bit. Just on OSA, morning two, it rained all night. And now it's a foggy day. Pretty cold. All packed up, off from OSA, and we just got a little jaunt over to our Portage Trail, day two. And then we're going to base camp on Killarney. Just at our Portage.
130 meter portage. Yep. From OSA back to Clarney. Did this last night. Pretty simple trail. One hill either way. Doesn't matter which way you go, you're gonna be in for a hill. You get to the top of the hill, then you go downhill. And here we are. Back to Clarney. And the world's nicest little landing here. Pretty. They're so angular. It is super calm on Killarney, even though we're almost into noon, can't complain. Still got a lot of fog, but uh, it's not raining, and we'll be at our campsite pretty soon. Really, really pretty morning. Just a little falls by that 3K trip from Killarney. We're not doing this Portage Trail today, thankfully, but we wanted to check out the falls right at the end of the trail. Okay, we're just at day camp. And uh, it's uh, kind of pity patter rain as it promised to do all day. So we've been, we took a little walk earlier today, uh, but mostly just sort of relaxing. We're under the, the tarp here. And uh, tomorrow we're off to Norway. And there's a promise in the weather report as we left that we may have some sunshine. 
we will see. But it's been a cold trip so far, and we are looking forward to some sunny days ahead. Night three in Killarney. Just relaxing. It was a base camp today. And tomorrow we're off to Norway Lake. Night sounds. Sun feels good. Stream work. Gert, can we go between them? Coming up, we could, we're not going to run it, but we could pop the canoe down that thing. stream behind Norway. And just at the top of Norway Lake. So we're gonna base camp here for a day. Come out on Friday. One last camp on Killarney and then out. And now we got a beautiful campsite on the other side of the lake. Norway Lake. view from the 
fire pit. <laughs> Pretty nice view. Just putting up camp. The tent pad is a bit angled, but it's the best we can do. Morning breakfast. I have some oatmeal. We're already drinking our coffee. We're just uh, taking a little hike out. We uh, pulled up to the uh, portage point to Kakakai's Lake from Norway. And then we're going to walk to Heaven Lake, have lunch out there, or at least have some trail mix. Just about at Heaven Lake, just over a ridge here. At least we're not carrying packs and portage gear. Oh, watch your step. Here we are, Heaven Lake. Reminds me of those little quartzite ponds behind Killarney. Last little bit, back to the Norway Portage Point, to the canoes, just a little bit of boardwalk here. And we're going to canoe back to the base camp. A little segue to uh, Heaven Lake was heavenly. And I'm glad that I'm not carrying a canoe and a canoe pack and all that other stuff.
It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Just heading back on the 430 meter trail from Killarney to Freeland. And yeah, this is a pretty special trip for us. First of all, didn't get out at all last year. And uh, just work and health issues. And Becky, she, uh, she got to a point the end of last year that she could barely walk and uh, she had to get some back surgery and uh, that seemed pretty scary for us the surgeon basically said she'd never go canoe camping again prognosis wasn't all that good fortunately her back surgery was a, a really good success within a couple of weeks she was walking and uh, as soon as she got cleared, she uh, worked with uh, physiotherapy and she worked very, very diligently for the last six months on physio, trying to get her core back up. And uh, yeah, now she's lifting 20, 25 pounds. So we're still keeping her pack light. But again, the surgeon said, never again never a canoe and uh, that she'd never be able to uh, carry more than 15 pounds and she thinks her physiotherapist thinks we can get her up to 30 pounds in, you know over a year but right now we're keeping it light and this trip to Clarney was kind of a test run I mean it was a pretty easy I mean just basically OSA then Clarney base camps and then to Norway base camp and then we're out but we wanted to see if she can do it and uh, we know if we keep you know the, the the weight light for her and have multiple carries and shorter overall trips that's really doable for Wabakini and we're hoping maybe we could do Wabakini this uh, later this summer so been a great trip basically we we're able to able to get her done here we are at Freeland
leaving on to George and to our put in. A couple of kilometers paddle. Beach, the beach, the beach. 